Hello guys, welcome. This video we will see how to deploy Cloudera Data Platform. So Cloudera Data Platform is a relatively new addition and which combines the best of Cloudera Enterprise Data Hub and Hortonworks Data Platform. So this video we will see how to do the installation of uh, CDP using Cloudera Manager. Uh, first thing we need to have a machine to do the deployment so i already have one virtual machine with 16 gig ram and which is hosted in azure so i have already installed or already uploaded a lot of videos on uh, this vm deployment so this is my vm and uh, this is the detail so i use this public ip to connect and uh, i have a port 22 open and uh, i use my credential to connect this so this is my machine which I am going to install for uh, the Cloudera data platform. So first thing we need to do like any installation so you need to have or you need to fulfill uh, some prerequisites so we need to do that first. So first we are going to do the prerequisites. Okay, So I am changing to root user so because all the configuration editings I need so so the first thing we are going to do is changing the host name so it's optional one like uh, you can see what is the host name so this is something uh, very long I need to use my own custom host name so I can use host name CTL then set host name so whatever the host name I am going to use master.hadoop.com so this is the host name and I can just verify this setting like uh, again using the same command. Host name iPhone F. So this is changed to master. And also we need to update in etc host file and for that we need to get the IP address, collect this IP address and this host name. So this information we need to add in etc host so open etc host and uh, select press i for insert and uh, come down then use master.hadoop.com and the short name is master that is the first thing one thing you need to do okay and then uh, we need to check the firewall is running or enabled use system CTL status firewall D okay so we just need to disable this service because the reason is there are a lot of uh, port and IP based communication for all these services that we install so we need to make sure those ports are open and uh, next is we need to uh, set the VM swappiness for that etc sysctl.conf just add this line then vm dot swappiness equal to 10 okay remove this and then save it then the next prerequisite is like uh, we need to disable sc linux use etc sc linux config then this is in enforcing mode this has to be changed to disable state just uh, change it that's it then uh, we need to add uh, uh, something like uh, disable THP okay so for that just to use uh, sys kernel then mm transparent huge page enable so this is uh, in always state kernel then mm transparent to see see 
here it's an hour earlier it was always so similarly we need to press this one for this file also so right now if we if you look into this file so this is also changed to never so these two lines like uh, echo never so we need to add it into etc rc.local so basically it's in the file etc rc.d rc.local so this is the file just uh, add that line okay so these two things i have added here then what i need is just you make sure uh, ch more plus x the permission is added to this one so the next is we need to uh, make sure like uh, ntpd service is always up and run so for that make sure you install this ntpd service using m y install ntp so this takes some time to install the package ntp and some of its a dependent package and turn on the service using system ctl enable ntpd okay so i have the credential for root user right now so post to this configuration i'm going to do a reboot so we will uh, see uh, the installation after this so that's it about this video we will see in the next video